Since Apple fell on ground, observed by Newton, topmost brains in physics are still stuck with it to realize its nature. It is the fundamental force of nature, gravity. We are reading about it from our very childhood. The most interesting thing is that it's only attractive. So it's time for us questions. Why gravity isn't repulsive instead of being attractive? There's a common question that arises here. Gravity isn't so easy in nature, you read about it. There are mainly four fundamental forces in nature. There's gravitational force, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, and a strong nuclear force. But nowadays, some physicists are suggesting for the few fundamental forces in nature that's associated with dark energy. But there are many controversies among physicists with that. But in this video, we are talking about only gravity. So let me get to the point. Since the time after Newton, the views of physicists isn't same for gravity. According to Einstein, gravity is the only effect of creating curvature on space-time by the masses of celestial bodies on Earth. We will talk about it on later on episodes. In this episode, I will discuss gravity with Newton's explanations and his views published in his book Philosophy, Naturalist Principia and Mathematica in 1687. In his book, Newton published in his three laws of motions and in law of gravitation also. Newton's second law and third law to explain this without going deep into mathematics, which states that the force equals the product of the mass and the acceleration term implied in the direction of the force that's f equals ma. And third law explains that every action has its own reaction in equal amount acting opposite to each other. If a ball is dropping on the floor, it creates the same amount of force on a ball and it traces its path again and again. We also know from Newton's universal law of gravitation that the gravitational force between the two masses proportional to the product of them divided by the square of distance between them. If F12 is a force exerted by the body 1 on body 2 and F21 for opposite case and small m1 and small m2 are the masses of 1 and 2 and smaller is the distance between the two bodies 1 and 2. Here we will not consider that breakdowns of this law and atomic level and for the dead stars like black holes. Below the range of 10 to the power minus 7 meter, the electrical force is dominated in atoms. Let me get to the point with our question. To understand it properly, we have to do a little bit of easy mathematics. Now, assume that the gravitational force between the two bodies is repulsive. To make the force between the two bodies 1 and 2 repulsive, we have to understand the relation and how can we change its sign convention properly. We can't change the denominator because of the square term. Somehow, its measure distance is always positive also. Here, capital G is a universal gravitational constant or we can say that it as a constant of proportionality and that is always positive. We might say that it could possibly be negative but isn't possible so far. Fundamentally, capitology hasn't any significance. It's only a factor and only depends on the choice of our unit system based on our masses and distances. If we use the Planck units, the correct and absolute unit system in nature, capitology becomes one and generally constant factor g doesn't exist. So that's the only thing that I can change is the masses of the two bodies on the one and two. Amazingly, another doubtful question arises here. How can masses of the bodies be negative? To make this force repulsive, we must assume a small m1 less than zero and a small m2 less than zero that is negative. Now try to find the accelerations and their directions of motions of the two bodies one and two separately. Now we can assume that the acceleration of a small m1 is a small a1 and for a small m2 is small a2. Then from Newton's second law, we can say that a small a1 equals minus g m2 by r square but a2 equals g m1 by r square that's result suggests that the direction the body is acting along the opposite direction of each other so negative mass always repulse each other nothing if the mass is negative every single subatomic particle should repel each other and stars, planets, galaxies don't form and it don't exist. The result is inconsistent with our imagination and at least in our visualization in our universe that we are living in. The mass is always positive to us. If it is negative, our universe could be something weird in reality. There is a simplest way that we can answer the simplest but difficult questions. Why gravitational force in nature is always attractive? If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the latest updates and kindly share your humble opinion in the comment section that will help me a lot for my improvement. I will see you in the next video with more interesting questions and topics in physics. Till then, try to imagine a world with negative mass in it.